and welcome to Brick Gala with another set review. Today I'm gonna show you the 2017 Lego Star Wars The Phantom set from the Rebels series. The set costs around $49 in US and includes 256 parts, so it's a very expensive set for the parts you get. And uh, it's set number 75100. Also includes three minifigures. And uh, that's exactly what we're going to take a closer look at right now. First minifigure in the set is Cannon, which we're going to take a closer look at right now. And you can see, can't see really his face, but I could take this off a little bit later. And he has some back printing, some of the torso. And uh, also as well as the legs here and brown gloves. Pretty cool minifigure. I think this this piece here, which is the hair piece, um, is exclusive for this set. And next up, here we have the Admiral Throne, which is a a general on the dark side, the imperial side. And uh, he has a exclusive blue blue headpiece and some exclusive printings as well on the torso and on the back side, which is a pretty simple minifigure, but it only includes in this set. And the last one is the non rare a little shopper droid, which also includes in three other sets, which is the Ghost and the Fan Phantom from 2014, I believe, and it's not so much to look at here, but, you know, his printing on the back side is the same as on the front, and, yeah, it's a cool, cool little minifigure that's included in, in the set. And now over to the set itself. Here is the Phantom, and um, here is the overall look at it. Changle, see it's some big stickers up here, um, as well as there is also a sticker, not a printed piece, only a sticker. And up here is a sticker representing a ship, which is flying right through here. And, um, yeah. And here on the back, it's a pretty exciting section uh, you can actually open this up here this little cargo space here fold this up and in here I don't know if you could see it but here is a little box you can take it out it slides with a, a regular uh, 4x4 uh, inside there, grey color, and the box has a little sticker here, which rep representing uh, the Ribble, Ribble group, and let's see if you can focusing on it, and this is actually a minifigure plate, which you can stand a minifigure on, and if you open this up, you'll see some a lightsaber holder, and lightsaber and here is actually some printed pieces pieces representing uh, bombs here so that's actually a pretty exciting play feature and very realistic too and then you put it back into it here and okay wrong there you go, and put it back like this. So, very nice play feature. And here on the sides, you can see here and here, and also on the other side, it's the same on the other sides. You can actually fold this down like legs on it. So, when you're not in flying mode, you can fold this down to get to get a little bit more more in place. So this is what it looks like with those felt down. And in the front section here is the cockpit, of course. And you can actually open this up. Very easy. 
to open it open this up and place the cannon minifigure inside I should think it's arms need to be and inside here in the in the cockpit area you can see this little little sloped piece here is a sticker on and here is the seat for the minifigure so take the minifigure and place it right there there you go and place the cockpit back simple and if you look from the top here actually you could see this two two by one by two plates with one stud on it uh, there is some space for put the shopper droid in here whoops like that so that's really cool and the last play features is in the back here you can actually see this little jello piece here, jello technic piece. If you slide this side to side, who likes to see actually see some missiles here, hiding missiles, which will shoot away if you put this side to side. Like that. Simple. And that was it for this time. I hope you enjoy it and see you next time at Brick Allen.